don't know if you've heard this. Uh, Arsenal needs a new manager. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. Mm. I haven't heard. And here hey, are this the names odds. have changed. Look at Brendan Rodgers up there at ten to one. Uh, but really, it seems to be all a moot point. Uh, Gellar said that to. one to five, all but penned in, is the Gunners' next manager. Few people know more about Arsenal than Stewart, so what would you think of that appointment? Uh, I think it's a strange appointment. We heard Ali talk in the show earlier on about how Arsenal needed to change their mentality, how they had to become winners, how they had to be tougher, how they had to be better organised, and someone like Simeone would do that. I'm not sure Mikel Arteta, when he was a player, Arsenal players have been accused for the last five, six, seven years of having no leadership, you know, no guts, no determination. He was a player at Arsenal. He was captain on several occasions. I can't see how he's going to suddenly transmit himself to being this great leader uh, out on the training field and in front of the press and in front of the fans. I think it would be a strange move for Arsenal to go down. And I think it's an easy move. And it shows me that the likes of even Gazidas, uh, Michelstad, the, the, uh, uh, the coach or the, or the technical director, they want people they can mould. They want people they can uh, control. And that's the problem I think Arsenal are going to have at the moment if they appoint Mikel Arteta. He's got no experience of management. He's had two or three years of coaching. And it's a totally different thing being a coach to a manager. And I'm not sure he's the head coach at Manchester City. Pep Guardiola goes and does most of the coaching and Arteta follows suit. You know, and that's a totally different thing to be in the head coach where you're taking every session, you're determining, determining the tactics, you're now got to lead the players, you've now got to drop players from the team, you've now got to go out in the press... I think it's a massive move if Arsenal go for Mikel Arteta and the wrong one. So Stewart isn't sold. Mm -hmm. I'll let you agree with Stewart's many concerns. Yeah. The reason I brought up Diego Simeone earlier was simply because if Arsenal is going to change, then you got to make that change palpable. It's got to be there every day. Not, not just thinking, well, you know, we, just, we change the manager and then all of a sudden things are going to magically happen. No, 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 no. You need a culture change. And Miguel Arteta brings a lot of what Arsenal players are right now, guys that are good on the ball, but do they win you games? I don't think that that's the case with Arteta. He also feels that it may just be that this is not the job that people think it is. Mm. You see, why, if you are managing a big club elsewhere, would you jump ship to come to Arsenal? Why? What, what is there about Arsenal that makes you say, you know what? I'm, I'm a Similiano Allegri. I'm going to leave Juventus to come to Arsenal. Is that an improvement? I don't think so. Is that a step forward? I don't think so. So, to me, Arsenal's got to be very careful as to what this decision is and make it a priority that this club starts winning and winning consistently. How are you going to do that with a new manager and players that are not all that great? Good luck. Like the, the difference is the thing that brings a big-name manager to Arsenal or the thing that can set Arsenal apart is what they can afford to pay. The trouble is when you have managers like uh, Allegri and Simeone, the money isn't the only motivating factor. It's, it's not the biggest motivating factor. It's about competing for silverware with, 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 with your club, with, with big clubs, and Arsenal, unfortunately, just isn't, isn't that. Now, this Mikel Tata appointment is, uh, is the Pep Guardiola and Zinedine Zidane effect where you promote from within. The trouble is, between Barcelona and Real Madrid, not only did they already have the cultures, if Arsenal are happy with their culture right now, but the club certainly had the foundations and the infrastructure to continue to compete at the highest level while promoting from within. I'm just not sure that Arsenal have the right culture. That's for them to decide. But I am quite certain that they don't have the infrastructure and the support mechanisms... Or the players. ...to, to make Mikel Arteta a successful manager.